Hi, this video is a summary of the amazing strategy by Stan Weinstein in his book Secrets to Profits in Bull and Bear Market. So unlike other typical videos, this strategy has been coded and backtested to see its efficacy. So Stan's strategy is based on few important variables. Let's break it down. Number one, 30 week moving average. Stan uses a traditional weekly chart with a 30 period moving average. The condition being if the price is above the 30 week moving average to go long and if it's below to close the position or go short. Number two, consolidation phase. When a market breaks out of this consolidation, an entry signal is given if it goes in tandem with rule number one. He further explains market travels in different stages and stage one being the first consolidation and entrance of the breakout of the stage being the best entry. You can, however, enter when the market pulls back to retest its consolidation top. But that also is an iffy because the market might never retest this in a powerful breakout. He then goes on to say that the market then goes from stage two, three and four, which are further consolidation in its uptrending move. Eventually, market breaks a low of the stage four, which comes in tandem with the break of 30 week moving average, at which point the trade is closed. The third variable to discuss is volume. He expects the breakout of this consolidation to have a sudden rise in volume, which gives authenticity to the breakout and thus removes false breakout. Number four, relative strength. Unlike the typical RSI indicator, this relative strength compares the move of the specified stock with respect to an index like an SPY or SPX, and says whether the move was substantially higher as compared to the index move. So a move of more than zero implies a powerful move of a stock with respect to the index. Now let's summarize the rules. Number one, price about 30 week MA. Two, break consolidation. Three, break confirmed by increase in volume. Four, relative strength higher than zero. So let's take a few examples on this strategy that I have back tested. So let's go through Amazon. So this is a weekly chart and we have seen the 30 week moving average in the blue line here and the volume here and the relative strength which I have coded it myself. You can see it's uh, there's a line zero and when the market's above zero this is when we want to enter the trade. So in the Amazon we have seen a profit of 2891.43 which works tremendously well with a profit factor of 3.06 and the percent profitable being 62.5%. Uh, let's take the case of Apple. So Apple again has got substantially great profit with the person profitable extremely high at 72% with an amazing profit factor. Let's see Tesla. Tesla has only got 193% profit, but you have to understand that TradingView doesn't factor in the open long in their calculation of the net profit here. So if I can go to the performance summary, you can see below there is an open PNL sitting right here because we have ended a position here at 200 something and the market is now 729. We can try out this in different stocks, whether it be HD or JNG, Walmart, Microsoft. Many of these positions were already still in the trade here. Again, the long positions made here, Alibaba, Visa, Procter & Gamble, JP Morgan. So one of the things I've seen amazing about Stan Weinstein's strategy is that most of them have given a profitable uh, return on the investment and none of them has given a loss, which itself is a big deal. So in this case, PayPal, we might only see 42.55 percentage net profit. But again, like we said before with Tesla, we are still in an open long position right here. So let's go deep into this PayPal. We have seen the market break out of this consolidation with a big green bar here. We also seen the volume to be substantially high there. The relative strength index was 0 0.28 and thus giving us a green signal to enter the trade. And we ended the trade there the week after that happened. And we've been holding this position for a substantial long time. The same situation can be seen in Tesla as well. We ended long there because of the breakout of the consolidation and the sudden rise in increase in volume. And when the market closes below the 30 week MA, that's when we will close the trade. This being a weekly chart, we can really, really ride this trend until and unless like what people say, go to the moon. So obviously there will be stocks which 
don't succeed as much as the Amazon and the Apple did. But that's why we have portfolio diversification. We need to diversify across multiple stock and applying this strategy has seen tremendous results in our back test. Now I've tweaked this strategy to get better results by changing the volume and relative strength variable to get better results for my own personal strategy. I won't be going deep into this, but you can do the same. I have added the code to the strategy for free seen in the link in the description where you can make the necessary changes for these variables. I also show instruction on how you can make the changes to these variables in an instruction manual video. The one thing I like about Weinstein's strategy is that it's long term and also the fact that it has lots of confirming elements for a breakout, i.e. volume and relative strength, and henceforth the success of the strategy in the backtest. By moving to weekly chart, he has substantially avoided choppiness in market movements and thus able to ride the trend longer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be doing backtesting and coding for many of the famous strategies. Subscribe so you get notified. Have a great day.